up all my fight fans so UFC Noche took place on Saturday and it wasn't something that was gonna really blow your hair back it wasn't something that was gonna really be like oh my god and you know <clears throat> this is by far one of the best fight cards even free no nonetheless fight cards um, this year but it was somewhat entertaining still you know you had some rising stars you had some stars that have been away for a while like Tracy Cortez she made her um, appearance again and she looked pretty much like a beast she was able to get that victory what um and whatnot so she's back and hopefully she does stay for a while um <clears throat> within the flyweight division that would be fun you had the young up and comer russell jr making a name for himself as well you know he's still fresh in that bantamweight division i'm sure he's going to try his best to continue to make a name for himself who knows what the future lies but if he continues doing what he's doing you know hey the future's bright for this kid you know, you had the very unfortunate fight with Kevin Holland, um, and I want what was his name? JDS. J, I, I, I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name. Um, his little uh, initials that he does, but nonetheless, uh, he ends up losing. Unfortunately, Kevin Holland. You know, it wasn't something that was gonna blow your hair back. It wasn't like a crazy back and forth fight that we're used to seeing from Kevin Holland. We know the entertainment that he is, but unfortunately, he does doesn't get the w and he's hoping to move on um to other things but we'll see what happens you know kevin holland it turns out he has got his own gym and it looks like he's calling his own shots which is never a really good thing um it's never really a good thing to do that you always want to have someone else doing that for you because as fighters you don't necessarily there's days you probably just don't want to train but then you have guys that push you and be like nah we got to train we got to do it today so let's see what happens with kevin holland you know, he's still um, very young in the game, and he still has a lot more left in the tank. So I'm definitely looking forward to him. Then you have uh, <clears throat> the champ, um, Alexa Grasso, taking on the former champ, Valentina Chemchenko, in what turns out to be a draw. It was a little bit more of a back-and-forth contest. There was a little bit of controversy of uh, um, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the judge, but one judge gave it a 10-8 for Grasso, which clearly wasn't. You know, it's really hard to judge 10 8 in the UFC. You know, in boxing, it's relatively easy because once you get a knockdown, it's automatically 10 8. But in the UFC, it's a little bit more challenging. You know, you got to look at some rounds, like clear crystal rounds that are just like, whoa, that was dominant. And I did not see any rounds like that in this fight whatsoever. It was very competitive, very back and forth. I am not hating on a draw, but I do feel like uh, Alexa Grasso got, the little bit, um, got a little bit better of Valentino. That's my personal opinion, guys. But I would like to hear your guys' opinion on regarding this fight. What do you think is going to be next for Alessa Grasso and Valentino Shevchenko? What do you think of this whole um, UFC Noche that took place? Was it a great event? Do you think it will be better next year? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.